Okay, guys, look what I got. I am so excited, guys. You have no idea. As soon as I saw these yesterday, I was like, JB, on your way home, grab them. I gotta try them. I gotta do a video, okay? Because if you know one thing, I love pickles. I love pickles. So let's get this video rolling. I am so excited. I've had these almost over 24 hours. We gotta try them. Happy day of reporter. Welcome back to my channel, Dante James. I'm, of course, Dante James. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing. You know that whole kit and caboodle. And guys, I'm wearing my cancer pendant necklace from La Belle Laurentis. Use my code Dante underscore James for 30% off your order. The, the website will be down below. Guys, I am so excited to get these Doridi, 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 Doritos tangy pickle tortilla chips. Is that what they are? Tortilla chips? I don't know, but I got them and I'm so excited. Now guys, I have a love for pickles. I have a love for cucumbers. I have a love for pickle juice. I even drink the juice. This is how much I love pickles. Okay, so here's one jar in our fridge. Of course, Mount Olive. Of course, Mount Olive. There's just two little lonely. They're just plain old uh, kosher dills, you know, but there's two little lonely ones in there. And then we have, of course, another jar. We have three jars of pickles. Then, of course, I have Mount Olive, the zesty garlic kosher dills. These are amazing. Now, that's those are the best pickles as far as store brand goes, in my opinion. And I know some of you that watch me totally agree, but not in store. These are the best pickles. These are from the Country Cottage in Jim Thorpe. These pickles are amazing. They are amazing. They are from the Country Cottage. They're handmade there. You, she does ship, which is really cool too. The pickle store, the Country Cottage. She does ship. There's the phone number. And she makes dill pickles, salsa, jams. Um, it, it's just a cute little store. And I rarely get able to get down to Jim Thorpe to buy them. But when I do, I buy two two of these jars. I buy two of them because I have to have them. And then when I buy two of them, I have to limit myself to one per day. That's it, one per day because I don't know when I'm going back. Now, this particular jar, um, of course, my beautiful friend who I love so much, Angelina, she got it for me last time she was down in Jim Thorpe, but it is the Country Cottage. Like I said, they are blue ribbon pickles, okay? So they won an award. They won an award, but they are blue ribbon pickles. Like I said, she does shit. So there it is, the Country Cottage, but those are the best pickles in the world. She cans them there. And and everything, it's just pickles, water, vinegar, sugar, salt, garlic, dill, and pickling spice. But guys, these are, the, it's the bomb.com. I mean, look at all that at the bottom there. Oh my gosh, they're the best pickles in the world. So yesterday, I was, of course, scrolling online and I saw that Doritos came out with a tangy pickle Dorito. So I have to try them. I have to try them. I definitely have to try them. I have, well, we're gonna try them. So let me open them. They come in a green bag. They look kind of greenish in the picture here. But one thing I like about these Doritos is there is no milk ingredients in them. There's no milk ingredients. There's just corn, vegetable oil, some other things, vinegar, salt, garlic powder, all of that. But it doesn't say that it contains milk. So that's perfect for me because, of course, Nacho Doritos and Cool Ranch Doritos both have milk ingredients in them and I can't eat them. I can't eat them unless I take a lactase. So you know what I mean. So let's open these up without further ado. Okay. Let's take a smell. Smells like pickles. It does smell like pickles. They don't look like the front, really. I should have opened these from the bottom. That's what I should have done. But let's see, here they are. It doesn't seem to have like a lot of seasoning on it or anything like like the like the other Doritos do. Um, it definitely smells like a pickle. It definitely smells like a pickle. So now let's try it. Mmm. Okay. I taste the pickle, but it's very faint. It's very faint. I don't get where the tangy comes in. And like I said, there's not a lot of seasoning like on, I don't know if it's not going to focus, but there's not a lot of seasoning on these. I was expecting like the Cool Ranch Doritos, how they have the speckles of like the red and the blue on them. And even on the front here, it looks like it has speckles on it. It says enlarged to show detail. And um, I'm not seeing any of that detail on this, but Mmm. Okay. I'm getting the pickle taste. I'm getting it, but it's not like what I expected. I was expecting for this to be like, let me 
Let me try to go down to the bottom a little bit because I heard someone, I forget who who I was watching or something, that they cut the bottom of the bag because that's where all the flavor is. Okay, so this is one from the bottom. It has a little bit more stuff on it. A little bit more. I mean, not a lot, but okay. So let's see. Okay. Okay. That one, I definitely got more of the flavor. And that one was from the bottom. But it's not like earth shattering like I thought it was going to be. And especially like how it has like tangy pickle. And then it has like the lightning bolt through it. I just expected this to be like, wow. Like, oh my gosh, pickle. But it's not like... It tastes like a dill pickle chip. Like if you've ever had a dill pickle chip or a Pringle, that's what it tastes like. It's not like... I don't know. It's not what I expected. They're good, but definitely not what I expected. I was expecting like how when you get like, like I said, like the Cool Ranch Doritos or the Nacho Doritos, how like they're so flavorful and like you could definitely taste the flavor. These are like, they're okay. They're just not at all what I expected. Like I'll still eat them and munch on them, but they're not like, no, it, like I said, I was expecting something bigger. If you've ever had, like I said, if you've ever had dill pickle Pringle or a dill pickle potato chip, that's what it tastes like. Nothing earth shattering or moving about it, nothing. It's just kind of like a chip. It's not like I was, like I said, compared to the bag, how the lettering is, the lightning bolt, it says tangy pickle. I'm not really getting a tang. I'm getting just a chip that has that, you know, like a chip that tastes like a pickle. Like this one has more seasoning on it. So let's try this one. I mean, I'm gonna... It, again, not earth shattering whatsoever. I mean, that one had a lot of seasoning on it, but it's not what I expected at all. It's really not. Eh. So if you're a pickle lover like me and you like pickle chips and pickled Pringles, stuff like that, these are, they're okay. Like a scale from one to five, and I'll give a little bit for disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale from one to five, including the disappointment, I'd maybe give them in the middle like a three. They're not something that if I, I mean, I would eat them again, but they're not something that I could, like, like guys, you know me, I could sit and eat a whole bag of chips. I really could. It's so sad and so bad. I have to stop myself. But it's not something that if I saw these out, I would be like, oh, I need to grab them. I'm in the mood for them. Like, they're good and I might once in a while, but they're not something that I'm like, oh my God, you got to try this. Have you guys tried the new pickle chips yet? They're good. Good, but they're not, like I said, earth shattering like I thought they were to be. I thought they were to be way more flavorful. I thought there was gonna be more seasoning. You know, it's just okay. And for like $4.29 a bag, you know, I just thought, I don't know. I just thought it was gonna, there was gonna be more. I just thought, I just thought they were gonna be more like, I don't know. So that's my review on these guys, the Doritos Tangy Pickle Doritos. I give it, it's like leaning on a two. So it's like between a two and a three and a scale from one to five. That's where it's at for me. They're okay. Kind of basic, kind of plain, of course, a pl uh, kind of plain. And I was just gonna say there's a plane going over, but they're kind of plain and they're okay. I mean, it says like on this, on the, even on the back here, it says crunch sour punch. I don't, I'm not getting that from this. I mean, I'll try it again, but I'm not getting tangy. No. I'm not. I could taste the pickle, but it's not like what I thought it was gonna be. It's very just like, eh, it's like vanilla. It's very vanilla. It's just like, okay, like, but I'm not getting this crunch sour punch. Or the like tangy pickle. pickle. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that whatsoever. So it's leaning between a two and a three for me, y'all. But thank you for coming and reviewing these with me. I was so excited about it too. But at least I always have the country cottage. And when I don't have the country cottage, at least I still have Mount Olive. Mm, yummy. Now I almost need to have one of those just to feel something. You know what I mean? But guys, thank you so much for joining me and for watching. This is, this is kind of a short video today, but I had to review these with you. I just got them yesterday. Had to review them with you. Had to try them. I was super excited. Y'all know I love pickles and cucumbers, so I had to try them. But guys, thank you so much for joining me and for watching. If you would like to, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Even though I'm the worst commenter backer in the whole entire world, I do try. Ring that bell. When you do, you'll be notified every time I upload new content. And guys, no, I love yous from the bottom, the bottom of my heart. And this was definitely a lot of fun and um, a little disappointing. It was a little disappointing. But until next time, you bye-bye.